Hello everybody and welcome to day 14 of my 31 days of Halloween. Today we are back in A Link to Terraria. We are currently at Hyrule Castle East Gate, which is closed until further notice. But this has been opened up, so if I just open up the switch... Okay, that's not an issue. Um, Making our way through the gate, I suppose. Um, Yeah, last episode we faced the first temple. Yep, we're heading to the Sky Temple. We have been to the Water Dungeon. And we have the Earth Temple, the Eldest Temple, and the Fire Dungeon left. I'm pretty sure the Eldest Temple will be last. So we're going to do Earth and Fire. Hey, is this it? Sky Temple. Turn the lights on. I see, you can only get up there with the balloon. You should rest up before the Sky Temple. Yes, I probably should. Oh, this, this is a boss fight. It has to be. Ooh, there are teleportation pads over here. Oh. Oh no. Do I just... Oh. Wait, there was two on that one. Oh. <laughs> okay. There's one... One button on that one. One button on that one. One button. One button. I struggled to keep track of most of that. Turn those lights on. Uh, okay. Okay, so do we go up here? Okay, no, that one hasn't been filled in. What about... Do I have to go over here? Another teleportation pad and spikes. Oh, jump that. Jump that out. Okay, maybe it's not a boss fight, maybe it's just a temple fight. Okay. This is going to be parkour. So, a little small jump. Yes. Yes, perfect. And a little small jump again. Damn it. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's try that again. Right. Easy. This one's also easy. This one is also easy. Oh, that got me. This one's easy. Oh, I actually got that one. This one's also easy. Oh, wow. So, is this one. Oh, jeez. So, is this one. Oh, no, that got me. Oh, easy. Easy peasy. Right. This one. Easy peasy, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I survived. Doesn't matter. Okay, that's parkour done. I knew this map was about parkour. Um, see, parkour is fine until spikes are introduced. Interesting. Okay. Over here? Yes. And then the one at the end. And then... Oh, the one up there. Oh no. Good choice. Oh, I hate choices. Uh. Right, the light's shining on that one, so I'm going to go for this one. Hmm, maybe up. Sure, that's a shortcut. Uh, what about this one? Okay, that closes that one. What about this one? Also a shortcut? Um. Oh, this one? Okay. Okay, we're on a roll. There's no... Okay, I want to keep that one closed because the harpy will get me. Uh, unless I can jump up. No, I need that one closed because of that bit. Oh wait, do I need to go in the clouds? Yes, okay. Nice. That was clever. Uh, not that one. This one? What happens now if I do this? Okay, nothing. And then... Not that one. Not that one either, but... That turns the lights on. Uh, yes, clouds. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. 
Oh, I'm sure that was a um, a logical way of doing that. I felt like I was just flipping switches. Right, and then open this one. Oh, and that's the harpies. There we go. Take care of that. And this looks like a boss arena. <laughs> you see a chest above, you open it. And to your surprise, you find a very elegant piece of silver chain mail with a pair of matching greaves. You take off that heavy iron armour and throw on your new armour. As you throw your second foot into the silver greaves, you look up and see a giant eye floating above you. Okay, I'm gonna... Um... Die. Okay, let's... on the silver chain mail then. Okay, that's done. What do these switches do? Oh! Okay! Uh, well, good we have that sorted. So if I just stay on the bottom layer here, uh, we should be good. Right, let's try this. I think I'll be fine. Uh, especially if I use these. It was not fine. <laughs> I need to stop being hit by the arrows. Oh my god, and again. <laughs> arrows. <laughs> Probably still gonna die. She'll be embarrassing. Oh, great. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, please. I got him. This is easier, kind of. And oh, why am I doing that? I was going to miss him. Again, jeez, arrows. Now I'll switch to the flaming arrows. Again, it's classic, so he's not going to do the screaming thing. Oh, jeez. Got him. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, if I couldn't be him on classic. Would have been embarrassing. Okay, um, place for demonite or I will do that. There we go. Thank you for slaying that beast that Ganondorf sent after me. I see that you must truly be the legendary hero. So I'll explain who Ganondorf is. Ganondorf was just your ordinary run-of-the-mill bandit until he stumbled across the legend of the Triforce. We sages have been guarding the Triforce for many generations, but Ganondorf has gotten a hold of one of the pieces, feeding him magical powers. We must put a stop to him, collect the large topaz and pull the lever below to teleport back to the start of Sky Temple. Head back to the Mayor's Vault. The boots you will find there will help you make the jump across the chasm just east of here. Once across the chasm, find the next sage in the Earth Temple. Research for large topaz for safekeeping. Okay, which is the... Okay, this is my chest. Oh, another life crystal. And a silver helmet. That would be useful. Uh, and a life crystal. Uh, flip that on and take the teleportation pad. Perfect. And we are back at the start of the Sky Temple. On to the Mayor's Vault. Now, it did give me a bit of a spoily. Um, I know this is going to be something to do with boots. 
Can you tap my chest? Okay, they're all set. Uh, quick homies boots. Okay, nice. And there's no message for me. Okay, so next would be the emerald. Which makes sense, because it's... Because uh, it's earth. I guess. That is the Sky Temple complete. Uh, next episode will probably be over here. Um, the earth... Earth Temple, I think. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave there and I will see you tomorrow for day 15. Bye!